It's well proven that fatigue can result in long-term physical and mental health issues. Project Martha researched this in a maritime context to investigate the effects of fatigue at sea. Professor Mike Barnett from Solent University presented key findings from the report to delegates at the International Maritime Organization in London last month. So this was all about longer term fatigue and really the main things were that everybody suffers from longer term fatigue as the voyage goes on. Captains more than the other members of the crew. We also discovered that um, there were changes in mood and what we've called social cohesion. So we were asking in questionnaires every week how they were getting on with their colleagues, how were they feeling, were they getting depressed, were they getting moody, and those results have indicated that over long periods that people's um, well-being, yes, is beginning to deteriorate. As well as interviews and weekly diaries, the study also used ACTI watches to register volunteers' periods of activity and sleep while at sea. Professor Claire Pekjan from Warsash Maritime Academy helped analyse the data. There were three significant findings that came out of the ACTI watch data. The first was that over the period of time that we asked people to wear the ACTI watches, um, was that there was a gradual reduction in the amount of sleep that they got in each 24-hour period over the course of the time that we studied them. The shift workers were getting significantly less sleep than the other people. And the third finding was that the most senior people on board, like the captain, had very fragmented sleep, so they might be having periods of sleep that were highly interspersed. Captain Cuba Szymanski from Intermanager, the organisation responsible for circulating the report, urged industry to take notice of the findings. We can get together and the Intermanager together with Solent now goes around the world, we do the workshops and try to disseminate, present the results, show them what it is, can they become a part of a solution. And when I say they, it is ship offices, ship industry as you call it. The IMO is looking at the report as it discusses revising its guidelines on fatigue at sea. This is Sarah-Jane Wareham for Inside Solent.